Hey, how's it going YouTube? I know it's been a while since my last video. Um, I've actually been working on building a new computer and I've uh, been a little bit busy with that. I know if you, if you guys uh, follow me on Twitter then you guys know I've been posting on and off updates on it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been going well. And uh, in regards to testing that computer and how it does I wanted to try and benchmark. I wanted to use a few benchmarking programs. Um, many of you guys may already know about Fraps as well already, but um, I just want I wanted to make this video to cover the basics of Fraps and just you know what all the different features Fraps has. I won't go into the very detailed nitty gritty information, but just an overview for everybody to understand what it is. Um, basically what Fraps is, is it's a video recording program, it's a video capture program and it also allows you to uh, make benchmarks. So let well, mainly a lot of people use this for uh, recording games. If you're playing games and um, you want to record uh, you know record videos of your of you playing your games then you, you would use Fraps. But in addition to that you have a, you can also run benchmarks what benchmarks are is you can uh, you can analyze your gaming from start to finish and see how your computer performs uh, in terms of graphics and FPS stuff like that frames per second um, so uh, yeah without talking so much let me just get started and show you guys what I mean um, so first you just go to I'm going to I'm going to download this program so first you go to props.com after that, go to download. And then from download, then you go to download props. Download. Right. It's a really quick download, 2.2 mega megabytes, as you can see. And uh, once it is done. Let's run this. We'll hit yes. Um, in this window, you can just hit I agree and see next. Install. Um, I didn't mention this, but yeah, Fraps is a f this. There is this is the free version of Fraps, uh, which basically allows you to do uh, very very short uh, video captures. It allows you to do the benchmarking and it allows you to take screenshots. Um, in terms of, if you want to make, it allows you to make up to 30 seconds of video, but uh, a lot of people will, will use pe a lot of people use Fraps for uh, checking their FPS and to run benchmarks to see how your computer is doing. So benchmarks is the way for us to know if our computer is doing well. Or if there's th if there's certain aspects of our graphics that need to be upgraded, uh, so in that sense you can go to graphics and set your settings to low or high or ultra or uh, yeah, which, whichever one your computer can handle. So uh, yeah, the installation seems to be complete, and now you'll have this Fraps icon on your desktop. So what you want to do is just double click Fraps, and this window comes up. Hit yes. And here, this is the Fraps window. All right, so now we're in, we're in the general uh, section, and as you can see, it's asking us to register, because um, right now this version of Fraps, this is the free version. The free version, uh, you can see it says here, loop recording is disabled, Fraps watermark along top of the video. That means there's a when you record a video, there'll be a watermark somewhere on the video. Um, maximum of 30 seconds per recording, video recordings that is, and screen screenshots saved in bitmap format. So that's we're limited to that. But um, regardless, the free version still has functionality that a lot of people can use, and it is very be beneficial. So um, over here, these are just a few general settings. Uh, start perhaps minimized. Uh, we could, if we run Fraps, it'll run down here, minimized over here. Um, you can check that if you want, but that's all right. Fraps windows, window always on top. 
uh, this means that if you have anything else open it'll always keep uh, fraps on top you see how I open Windows Explorer but fraps still stayed on top there um, and uh, run fraps when Windows starts uh, so when your Windows starts up then fraps will also start you can cho choose this if you want but uh, for me right now I don't need that and here monitor arrow desktop and minimize system tray only minimize the system tray only uh, that's all right we could leave that as it is um, and then now we go to the FPS FPS this is this is where we can control um, our uh, benchmarking this is the benchmarking features feature of fraps um, and it's, it's very simple overall you can just choose what folder you want your benchmarks to stay at um, then you can go benchmarking hotkey uh, that means whenever you're playing your game and you want to start your benchmark you just press this key F11 or you can set it to whatever you want and the benchmark will start and then when you want to stop it you press F11 again uh, by default every benchmark will last for 60 seconds over here but uh, you can you can change that and set it to another another value um, actually it's not by default sorry we can set it so it's here it says stop benchmark after 60 seconds we can change this to whatever value we want um, but I'm gonna disable that so if it's disabled that means that it'll keep benchmarking until you hit F11 again to stop it um, and or over here you have the benchmarking settings uh, what do you want it to record so the FPS frame times and min max average those are uh, those are very useful values when you're benchmarking to know so we want to know what our FPS is while we're doing the benchmark uh, what are the frame times and what's the minimum frame uh, FPS the max FPS and average FPS which gives us an overall understanding of how our computer is doing based on those graphic settings and uh, when you're done your benchmark uh, it'll be saved in this this folder so you can go over, you can go over there and uh, as you, like right now we just installed it so we don't have anything installed here uh, and we don't have any benchmarks here but uh, we can run a benchmark and see how it goes um, now let's move on to the movies section so this is the movies feature of fraps uh, if you have the paid version of fraps this this feature is like gold you can record games as it's going with no problem at all and it gives you good quality videos of your games um, I have I have I have done a little bit of research and I found you know one of the, the three main video capture game capture um, softwares I I found was uh, Fraps Fraps was one of them uh, DX Story is another one and uh, Afterburner MSI Afterburner that's another one as well um, Fraps is the most simple of all of them so it's easy for anybody to use you don't have to go into detailed settings and stuff like that. So that's why I'm doing this video for you guys. Um, but yeah, this for the free version of Fraps, we this movies feature is only limited to 30 seconds. We can't do anything above that because uh, that's that's just a limitation of the free free version. You have to pay and get the full version if you want to record unlimited video. Um, over here, you you just choose what folder that your movies are gonna be saved in. Um, and here's the hotkey again for video capture uh, you can set it to whatever key you want uh, it's set to F9 right now so let's say I'm playing my game when I want to start video capturing I press F9 and when I want to stop video capturing I press F9 again uh, and uh, over here you can choose uh, what FPS you want to capture your video at um, 30 FPS is generally the uh, accepted like the global accepted amount a lot of people go with just 30 fps anything higher than that uh, wouldn't there won't be much of a noticeable difference for anybody else uh, you know average human beings everybody can 30 fps is the average rate that we all see at so it's not it's not very special to go much higher than that uh, more or less and then you can choose what uh, you want it you want it to be a full size capture or half size capture uh, I guess I think that's in terms of the screen size um, 
and then the loop buffer length I am not 100% sure over this setting uh, you may have to check, double check on that um, and then here you can go you have this option of split movie every 4 gigabytes so if the movie is very long you're making a long recording then every 4 gigs it's gonna split the video file into another file and continue from there um, I'm gonna leave this off right now I don't I don't expect to record 4 gigs of videos um, and, uh, and then you can ch ch check here in regards to sound uh, what do you want to capture of sound record Windows 7 sounds yep I'm gonna do that uh, stereo uh, or multi-channel you can pick which one you want and record extra record external input here if you select this it'll record your mic as well as you're playing you can talk as you're playing and recording uh, let's say you're talking into your microphone this this recording will be will be part of the video as well and then you can choose additional additional option here only capture while pushing space so let's say while you're gaming you're pressing space uh, that's the key you or you you can uh, select whatever key you want uh, let's say J or something but uh, yeah you can select the key you want and when you're pressing that key then it'll capture the audio other than that uh, it won't capture uh, I'll just leave the setting for uh, off right now and um, here you have hide mouse cursor and video lock frame rates while recording and forceless losses RGB capture may be slower this makes the video a lot uh, a lot larger when you're recording it's uh, lossless so it'll keep the video as it is uh, generally you don't want to do this unless you wanna you're making like specific very high high quality uncompressed video um, and uh, yeah these are just the general settings for movies and then you have the screenshot feature this is also kind of helpful sometimes I use this a lot maybe I'll make a video on it because uh, I was benchmarking crisis 2 and what I did was I changed the settings one by one I had it on high I took a screenshot without moving anything then I had it on um, uh, ultra then I, I took a screenshot then I t had it on extreme took a screenshot um, so each each level I and then I had it on very high as well um, and I took a screenshot then that way when I check my screenshots you can check one by one of the same screenshot what what the difference in graphics looks like so that was kind of kind of helpful I found um, yeah again select the folder you want to save your screenshots on uh, select the hotkey that you want so when you're playing if you want to uh, take a screenshot just press F F10 or you can change this to whatever you want uh, image format you can select these other options but as you see here it says only registered users can save screenshots in JPG PNG or TGA formats so by default it's bitmap and you're stuck with that because we don't have we're not registered and here we have screen capture settings include frame rate overlay on screenshots um, well if you have fraps open and you're playing a game normally on you know somewhere on the screen you'll see the FPS uh, marker the ticker will be showing there and uh, uh, this this option what it's asking is do you want that ticker to show on your screenshot as well so you can choose this yes or no if you want I think the ticker it's a good way of benchmarking and uh, here repeat screen capture every 10 seconds so this this option if maybe you're doing something specific and you want to take a picture every 10 seconds of something then you can choose this option or you can change this to every 10 seconds or every 20 seconds or every 50 seconds etc so I'll leave it at 10 I'll disable that and yeah that's pretty much it that's that's all the basic that's all the features of fraps uh, in one summarized video and um, maybe I will uh, I'm just gonna run just just to show you guys I'm gonna run a uh, what I would do what I'm gonna do is actually I'll make a recording with fraps I'll stop Camtasia studio and then I'll add that to this video uh, just to show you guys what I'm talking about um, so uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful um, 
please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, ha it's at TechVoid. And um, if you have any com uh, suggestions for future videos, let me know. Thank you guys and take care. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stay relaxed. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, Mr. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy.